death, taxes, and Luka Doncic leading Slovenia's men's basketball team to a victory. All of these things are inevitable as Luka Doncic now moves to 16-0 when playing for his home country as Slovenia takes down reigning world champion Spain 95-87 in a game where Luka narrowly misses out on a triple-double but only attempts seven shots. He was two from seven from the field and... Spain really tried to junk up this game a little bit, play physical. But again, as I've been saying, the complete team of Slovenia is able to work around it. Now, this is a game where Doncic easily could have had 20 assists, but even still, he was able to control the game while his teammates, particularly Toby in the fourth quarter with double-digit scoring there, he posts a big double-double in this game. His teammates are able to rise to the occasion and help lift Slovenia to this impressive victory. While the first two games were won by a combined, I think, 53 points for Slovenia, this was a much closer game. And I think this is a more impressive win in that it shows they can win these nitty-gritty games. They don't just have to win off style points and off of simply you know, playing inferior competition. This was a quality, quality victory here. This is a very very well coached team and uh, it would not surprise me in the least if some of these other teammates from the Slovenian national team find their way to the NBA in the coming years. Now Luka ends up with 12 points, 14 rebounds and nine assists. He did deal with some foul trouble in this game as well. His shot wasn't falling as I said only seven attempts in that regard but Spain running with Ricky Rubio and Marcus Sol, they really made this a difficult game that was very different from what Slovenia had experienced against Argentina and Japan. So with this win, Slovenia gets the top seed coming out of Group C. They move to the quarterfinals for a matchup with Germany. U.S. is also in the bracket as well, but on the opposite side. So if these two are to face off, it would be in the finals, which would be something to see. But there is a lot to consider here. There's still a long way to go. It's a tough journey. I know uh, international Mavs fans might be a little bit torn in this game because obviously the support from the Mavs nation has been tremendous for Luka and and Slovenia in this Olympic uh, run. But because of the dirt connection, we got a lot of Mavs fans in Germany. So this is going to be a little bit torn, I imagine. And I'm curious to see how the response comes about. So I mentioned earlier Toby's big double-double. He had 16 points and 14 boards. Very, very key in the fourth quarter. I think he had 10 or 12 points in the fourth quarter alone. Came up huge there, but so did Kankar with 22 points. I might have butchered his name there. I apologize, but uh, he led Slovenia with 22 points as well. So Luka's teammates picking up the slack a little bit. Yes, Luka was able to really impact the game and have a big presence despite very little shooting and not a whole lot of scoring. But even still, you see how if he just has teammates that can lift him up a little bit, uplift him where he doesn't have to drop 30, 40 points a night for us to have a chance, you can go really, really far. The notion that Luka can't take Dallas far because of him is a joke and it's been a joke the entire time but this is just really well illustrating that point I think Ricky Rubio had 18 points for Spain but he did miss a big three that would have tied the game at 90 and you know it uh, sometimes that's just the way it breaks Spain is a very good team. There's a reason they're the reigning World Cup champions in basketball. And this was uh, this was the biggest test for sure that Slovenia has faced thus far. The big thing here in this game, Slovenia's closing this game was phenomenal. Slovenia closed on a 19 to 5 scoring run to take an eight point victory. That is phenomenal. This is a game that Spain had right there in their grasp. And Slovenia came through in the biggest moments in the crunch time and really, 
really delivered when the pressure was on. That is a really impressive indication. It doesn't matter that this is the country's first basketball exposure in terms of the Olympic play. It doesn't matter that this is a team that internationally, a lot of people, I think, looked at this, or at least in the Western world, looked at this and said, yeah, it's Luca and it's a bunch of OK European League players. It's better than that. It's so much better than that. Now, I'm not going to put the cart before the horse and say, like, oh, pencil them in into the final. They've still got a tough road ahead. But no matter what, this is an eye opening. I would say I would say game changing run by Slovenia. The perception of their basketball program is going to be vastly different moving forward because of this. And it won't just be because, hey, Luka Doncic is from here and has played for us and had success. It's the whole picture now. But that pretty much wraps up the game here. I'm curious to see how Slovenia handles the game against Germany. Meanwhile, we're going to have the U.S., France, and Australia are also still in the mix. So this is going to be tough. France has won the last two games against the U.S., so by no means should the U.S. be penciled in. Just something to keep in mind. But that's it for my time, guys. If you haven't already, drop a like, leave a comment below, subscribe to the Dallas Prospect. And until next time, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Peace.